to really put the cherry on top for your butterfly, having a great start and turns is essential to making your butterfly as efficient as possible. Hey, my name is Kaylee, and today we're going to focus on all the little details of butterfly turns, starts, and your finish. In the earlier episodes, we talked a lot about underwater dolphin kick and really using your legs to help your arms. Today, we're gonna to teach you how to dive off a block like this, get into perfect streamline, underwater dolphin kick, and then transition to that strong butterfly stroke. One mistake that people make when doing a start is slingshotting themselves across the water. They think that when they take their mark, they need to lean back because it will pick up speed. Instead, this is just covering more ground that they have to fly off the edge. Lean forward and really explode off that start so you're even closer to that water than you need to be. For better grip and so that you don't slip, curl your toes off the edge of the block. When you bend over to take your mark, you can grab here, here, whatever's comfortable, but just make sure you hold on tight so you can use your arms to start and throw yourself into the pool. Some swimmers may prefer to start like this, and that's okay. It may be more comfortable to leave one foot behind so you can stagger your feet and use the back leg to push forward over the block. As soon as you hit the water, make sure you have tight streamline. Have one hand over the other and squeeze those ears so you're as tight as possible and bring all of your momentum into your dive. This is when you start the underwater dolphin kick. Take three or four underwater dolphin kicks before you surface and start your butterfly swim. If you're not in streamline, your arms will be spread apart and all that water will be coming into your face, slowing you down and ruining any advantage that you have off the start. Like we mentioned in the last episode, as soon as you come up to start your swim, take two full strokes before you take a breath to keep your speed up, your hips high, and keep yourself moving forward. The fastest you'll be in butterfly is coming off of the start. So make sure that you lengthen that time that you can spend underwater before you come up and start swimming. Pro tip, this means you get to swim less butterfly when you're underwater. When you come in to do your butterfly turn, make sure you touch with two hands. If you're in a race, you'll get disqualified if you only touch with one. Believe me, I've been there. I've seen so many swimmers do this turn wrong. They think that when they touch the wall, they have to come up and out of the water before they go back. Instead, the wall should be like a trampoline. You want to get off of it as soon as possible. Come in and get out as soon as possible. The final detail of your butterfly race is the finish. You want to make sure that you time the number of strokes that you take getting into the wall so that you're finished with your arms out and your head down so that you can get all of that power moving into the wall. When you reach the flags, it's time to start preparing for your finish. Count the number of strokes that it takes for you to get to the wall. You don't want to end up too close to the wall finishing like this, and you don't want to be so far away that you have to take extra kicks. To keep your body line as best as possible at the end of the race when you're tired, keep your head down and in line with your spine and don't breathe. This will keep your hips up and keep your speed up for that final touch. All right, we're gonna go for a swim workout and today I'm really gonna focus on my butterfly turns. I have my workout loaded on my watch. I'm just gonna follow along and make sure to really focus on my turns. The drill that we're going to focus on today is gonna focus on reaction times and staying low to the water on our open turns. For this drill, you're gonna be outstretched and it could be on the wall or the middle of the pool. You're gonna put your head down and then you're gonna focus on bringing your elbow back, your knees up, and staying low to the water when you push off the wall. Remember, you don't want to pull up or out when you do the turn. You wanna stay low to the water and be able to slip back into the water really quickly. All right, I'm gonna try it out myself. When you're practicing your turn, you can use this phrase to remember where your arms go. Elbow your brother and call your mother. This means that right after you touch the wall with two hands, one arm goes back with your elbow at your side and the other hand slides past your ear to get into streamline. Bring your feet up to the wall, stay low as you lean back and turn towards the side that you're elbowing your brother on and get into a nice tight streamline with as little splash as possible. Once you get the hang of practicing your turn on the wall, you can also practice this in the middle of the pool. Once you're in the middle of the pool, focus on how fast you can get into streamline and notice where you're creating drag with your body. If your turn takes some time, you may need to keep your elbows closer to your body when you turn or tuck your knees closer to your chest as you lean backwards and get into a nice tight streamline. 
Well, that's it. That's everything you have to know about butterflies. You're a pro and you have what it takes to keep getting better. Again, I'm Kaylee from My Swim Pro and I hope you enjoyed this series on learning how to swim butterfly. Make sure you check out our other videos on the My Swim Pro channel so that you can learn how to better your butterfly, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced swimmer. Make sure you also download the My Swim Pro app so you can get a personalized workout right on your watch that you can follow along with. Subscribe to the channel and drop a comment telling us what you learned from this butterfly series. Thanks for watching and happy swimming.